The narrow gauge lines of the Denver and Rio Grande narrow gauge of the 1950s were an exciting place to visit and photograph. Join me now for a trip back to the 1950s and see how it was. First, we'll follow a Rocky Mountain Railroad Club excursion in 1955 from Alamosa to Durango up to Silverton and back. In this scene, we find workmen transferring lumber from the narrow gauge to the standard gauge at Alamosa's overhead gantry crane. Here we follow a double-headed freight train from Alamosa to Antonita on the dual gauge track. It's late evening as a freight train, double-headed, arrives in Antonito.
Hitting downgrade, our train crosses Lobato Trestle. Back in 1907, photographer Monty Ballou, who was also the wrecking foreman of the Denver and Rio Grande in Chama, made this outstanding photograph of a double-headed freight crossing Lobato Trestle. In the following sequence, we'll follow a lumber-laden freight train as it heads up out of Chama for Cumbers Pass. The sequence shows a portion of what was known as doubling the hill. In other words, more than one trip would be required up to 4% grade to get a full train to the top of Cumbers Pass. As our freight train rounds Windy Point, you'll see the location lives up to its name as smoke blows ahead of the train in its eastbound journey. In the following sequence, we'll see a triple-headed freight heading up out of Chama, up the 4% grade to Cumbrus Pass, crossing the Chamita River and the famous Jukes Tree. The Jukes Tree is a large pine just outside of Chama, made famous by photographer Fred Jukes, who incidentally, in 1907 and 08, was a telegrapher in Chama.